I want to talk to you about how to set up MetaPay to uh, quickly make payments, uh, whether it is on, on mobile or on desktop. So here's a summary I want you to pay attention to. When you think about MetaPay, what it, what it really is, let's talk about that. I mean, MetaPay actually used to be called a Facebook Pay. And the cool thing about MetaPay is that it really is streamlines payments uh, across Meta-owned platforms. So I'm speaking about what? I'm speaking about Instagram. I'm speaking about Facebook. So I'm, speak I'm speaking about WhatsApp, okay? And once you link a payment method, you can donate, make purchases, or send money within uh, Meta apps. And MetaPay actually utilize, uh, utilizes anti-fraud technology and uh, advanced uh, encryption to keep payments information secure. So that's kind of cool. So when purchasing items, sending money, or donating to, uh, let's say, charitable causes or Meta platforms, and uh, there is a simple way and a very easy way to do it quickly and securely. And uh, so now the digital wallet, and because this is what MetaPay really is, the digital wallet stores payment information such as uh, your credit and debit cards or even PayPal account so that you can use them across a Facebook owned apps without the need to en enter it for each transaction. And so that's kind of cool. I mean, in terms of uh, flexibility, we love that a lot. Now, the big question is, uh, is MetaPay really safe? Of course. I mean, you know, um, when you actually use uh, MetalPay, you have uh, the the flexibility of a giant such as uh, Facebook. I mean, of course, uh, in, in the last few uh, in the last few weeks and months, we've heard a lot of uh, not a lot, but we've heard uh, some scandals around MetalPay. Some people have criticized the the platform, but long story short, this platform, this digital wallet, is here to stay. And uh, so Facebook Pay is still available, but now it's called MetaPay. So if you are if you are kind of confused about uh, MetaPay versus uh, Facebook Pay, you, those are the same. Okay. Now, how the, how long the, does it take to receive money from MetaPay? I will I'll speak more about that. But the thing is that it can be really really fast. If you have a, a debit card or a PayPal account added to MetaPay, the money will be transferred instantly. If you don't have a payment method, you can add one and the funds will show up right away. But your bank may take up to five days to make the funds available in your bank account. So this is not like uh, something that has to do with uh, with, with uh, Meta. It's your bank. Now, let me talk to you about the steps that you need to really. I want to first talk talk about how to set up MetaPay on Facebook desktop. So you want to open facebook.com. We'll, we'll show you a series of pictures on the screen so you see exactly what I'm speaking about. So when you open uh, Facebook, you want to navigate to the settings and privacy section of your account by clicking the small arrow in the upper right hand corner of your web browser screen. Pretty straightforward. And the settings and privacy link is actually above the help and support option. So that's an important element to think about. Now, one thing I want to say here is that uh, you have to, at, the, at, the, at that stage, you need to select settings. Be very careful. You have to select settings because otherwise it wouldn't work. Select settings and the settings will be the first option in the settings and privacy menu. So this is this is important to actually think about. And uh, next, what you want to do here is that you want to actually uh, on the left left hand side of the screen, click see more in account center. So this is uh, actually this will give you a series of uh, other functionalities. So you want to select the payments option under the account settings header. Okay, as you can see on the screen here, it, the, the payment setting header, and you want to select MetaPay. So, uh, and then uh, inside the payment method bo uh, box, you want to click the add payment method uh, link. You have to click it, otherwise, it wouldn't link it. Next, you want to select whether you want to add a PayPal account and or debit card. And the cool thing is that MetaPay actually accepts Discover as well. I mean, th there was a mo there was a time when. Uh, they will not actually accept the uh, discover now they accept discover and next you want to connect your paypal account or enter your debit or credit card details i mean and, and again including uh, the cvv the cvv that's actually the three digits safety code at the back of your card so you gotta really so once you actually do everything you just uh, click save don't forget to click save otherwise uh metapay is not going to uh, actually uh, record save your data okay one thing i want to say here also is that uh, th there is a possibility for meta pay to actually uh do a, a two-factor authentication 2fa by sending you uh, let's say uh, an sms a code via sms and asking you to actually uh, confirm uh the four digits or five digits they've sent you so 
just be aware of that. There was there was a possibility for that. Now let me talk to you about how to set up uh, MetaPay on Facebook Mobile. I just explained to you how to set up MetaPay on Facebook Desktop. Let's let's think about how things work on the mobile side of things. So you want to launch the face the Facebook app, and uh, you want to tap the menu button in the lower right corner uh, of your screen on iPhone and on and upper right on Android. As you can see on the screen here, pretty straightforward, nothing really complicated. And uh, you want to scroll down and tap settings and privacy, and then orders and payment. You have to uh, in some on some new phones. It, it, it it's only orders but uh, let's say uh, in most phones it will have to be uh, the app will uh, display orders and payment and uh, next you want to tap payments method then add payment method you want to you want to specify the one that you, that you want to choose right and uh, this can be a credit card it can be a debit card it can be a PayPal so that's kind of cool I mean I was just telling you a little earlier that Actually, uh, MetaPay actually now accepts Discover. So before, they, they will only take uh, American Express, Visa, or MasterCard. And but lately, they've they've actually uh, added Discover to the to the phone. Not a problem. Now, in terms of uh, MetaPay on Facebook Mobile, and of course, they might have the 2FA, so two-factor authentication or MFA, multi-factor authentication. Now, one thing I want to say here is that if you want to add a MetaPay on Facebook Mobile. You need to choose whether you want to enter uh, your credit or debit card details or your PayPal account login. And uh, once added, save the, save the information and wait for it to appear on the payment uh, methods. One thing I want to add here is that uh, be uh, very careful if you have uh, like uh, if you're using the phone with uh, your wife or your children or your husband. If you have a joint phone, if you have joint usage of a phone, be very careful because if you actually uh, add better pay on Facebook mobile, there could be a little conflict because uh, if your Facebook, if your uh, mobile phone is associated with uh, your uh, individual Facebook account, and uh, you have uh, a, a joint use of uh, joint usage of uh, the credit card or debit card or even PayPal account, that the then uh, you would not you may not actually uh, see an, an immediate transfer on uh, like an immediate connection of uh, your account. So when we talk about MetaPay, I want to give you more details here because it's important to understand that uh, MetaPay is actually is is actually uh, an important platform if you if you consider Meta platforms, I mean Meta networks such as uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and have you. So MetaPay actually, as I said a little earlier, used to be called Facebook Pay. Okay, this is just a secure way to make payments on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger. And uh, you can actually buy products, send and donate money within these apps using the, the MetaPay feature. You can also uh, use this service to make purchases from participating online stores. And you can view your payment history and review your payment method for each of the mentioned apps via MetaPay. And this is kind of cool. And if you have actually set up a Facebook Pay account in the past, you don't need to worry about registering your like for a MetaPay because your details will will still be saved. And uh, and don't let anybody actually, uh, let's say, charge you to uh, use MetaPay because MetaPay is actually free to use. However, and this is an important an important uh, piece of information, you may be charged for certain transactions if you use PayPal via MetaPay, right? Because PayPal has its own. I'll speak about the, the fees later on. You might also be charged, this is another important uh, piece of information, you might be charged additional fees for using MetaPay let's say if you receive money for personal fundraisers or if you sell and promote items on facebook i mean for instance when you use uh, facebook as a as a marketplace you know you 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 if you are if you engage in facebook drop shipping okay so the cool thing is that metapay actually is pretty uh, is pretty uh, universal in the sense that it accepts a lot of uh, a lot of payment methods okay as i said a little earlier credit and debit card prepaid card paypal shopping and uh, now, who uses, uh, I mean, why should you use MetaPay in the first place? Well, when you think about it, MetaPay is actually a, a fast way to spend and donate money on Facebook-owned apps. As merchants are not charged an additional fee for offering MetaPay, many other uh, many other online stores are also offering the, the, that payment option. And uh, the cool thing is that MetaPay encrypts all your payment information 
and never shares it with third parties without prior permission. And it, so if you notice, let's say if you notice an authorized charge on your on your MetaPay, you can contact Meta via the Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, or Messenger apps, and you can choose to raise uh, your question or your query via live chat or by emailing the given address, depending on the platform that where you are at. So that's that's kind of cool. And there are several great reasons to use MetaPay. You have card details are encrypted and secured. Account information is stored separately from payment details. No need to re-enter uh, payment details for each purchase. You have access across multiple apps. You can make purchases, send and donate money without leaving Facebook own app. And you can support multiple payment methods. Fantastic. So when we talk about setting up MetaPay on Facebook, the thing is that you have to really understand that it is all about it's all about uh, flexibility. It's all about speed too. I mean, you know what? As I said, as I showed you a little earlier, you can set up MetaPay via the Facebook app or website. But one thing for sure, if you want to go a lot faster, you have to really understand that uh, everything happens around privacy settings. Okay. So I I just want to really uh, explain to you what you have to do to make sure that you, your account is actually saved. And again, the reason why I'm saying this, I'm saying this to you again is because uh, depending on uh, the version of Facebook you have or Meta that you have, things can, can be a little different, okay? So what you wanna do is is that, uh, now the steps are, I'm giving you here in terms of setting up MetaPay on Facebook, those steps are applicable no matter what. They're applicable uh, no matter the version of Facebook, or I mean, the, 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 the the platform you're using or the country by the way the country that you are that you're you from okay so you want to click on your profile picture in the top right corner and select settings and privacy settings you want to actually the the account center should appear should appear in the top left of your screen you want to click on payments at the bottom of the options list okay and uh, so step three you want to select payment again from the list on the left of your screen you will be given two options Add payment and MetaPay. Click on MetaPay and select Add Payment Method. So that's that's kind of an important element to think about. You you can now add your preferred uh, payment method, and this could be a credit card or debit card, and or you can choose to link your PayPal account. And uh, next, you want to add your card details, including your card number. As I said to you a little earlier, right? The thing is that you at this point you will also have to select which country you are in uh, you are from. And you have to look at the, the drop down list. And uh, please don't forget to, ch to save changes. Once you're done, save the changes. Otherwise, it, you know, Facebook is not going to uh, save anything for you. I want to talk about how to set up MetaPay on Instagram. So you can set up MetaPay via your Instagram app or web page. And uh, so on the screen here, I'm going to share with you how to actually uh, add payment methods to a MetaPay via the Instagram app. So you want to go to your profile page and tap on the three lines in the in the top right corner and uh, select settings and privacy from the from the top of the list. As you can see on the screen here and step number two, you want to scroll down until you see orders and payment and then tap payment me payment methods. Now there are there are so, some uh, phones where you don't see actually orders and payment. You you, you, you just see a payments. So you want to tap uh, payment method. And uh, step number three, you need to tap add payment method. So pretty straightforward. Okay. And here also kind of similar to what you did a little earlier. You want to choose whether you want to add a credit or a debit card or even a prepaid card for that matter. Or even connect your PayPal account. So that, that that's kind of cool. And if you are adding a card, you'll be asked to uh, you'll be asked for the card details and the billing address. And once you have added those details, tap save in the right in the top right corner. You have added a new payment method to your MetaPay digital wallet. So pretty straightforward. And one thing I want to say here is that it's a uh, it's one of those things where you have to uh, like you have to go back to to your to your MetaPay account to make sure that your uh, your information is saved is saved because. Uh, Sometimes we have we have actually heard from some of our viewers that they did everything, they followed, they followed the steps, and in the end, MetaPay is still not showing their payment method. So that's one of those things where you, you want to really uh, verify your uh, your info is correct, verify that uh, MetaPay has taken your data and everything is fine. Because otherwise, you know, like uh, imagine you actually are trying to engage in, in fundraising 
or or you or you want to buy something online and uh, the uh, the merchant actually accepts MetaPay, but you have you don't have uh, the appropriate data in your um, in your account to actually uh, initiate the transaction. The, the transaction. Sorry about that. The the transaction. So that's an important element to think about. I want to talk to you about how to set up MetaPay on Messenger, and uh, you can actually set up MetaPay via the uh, Messenger app. And so, what you what you want to do is you want to tap on the three lines in the top left of your screen and select the Settings cog icon. Next, you want to scroll down to the bottom until you reach the Meta Account Center, and there you have to uh, tap on Payments. Next, you want to uh, in the in the Meta Account Center. You want to tap on uh, payments at the bottom of your screen, then click click on uh, MetaPay. Pretty straightforward, and you you actually will be given uh, the option to add a credit or a debit card, or even prepay card, or link your PayPal account to a uh, MetaPay. And then uh, you'll be asked to uh, give kind of similar to what you did a little earlier. You'll be asked to uh, give your card information as well as the billing address. And once you have inputted the information, tap the Save button in the top right of uh, your screen and you have successfully added a new payment method to MetaPay. Pretty straight, pretty, pretty, pretty uh, straightforward. And now there are uh, also, uh, there is a possibility to connect a prepaid card to MetaPay. You can connect a prepaid card to MetaPay in the same way you would a debit or a credit card. So when you choose a credit or a debit card in the, in the uh, add payment method section, you want to add a prepaid card's number as expiration date and CVV, so the, the three digits at the bottom, I mean, at the back of the card. And you also need to add the billing address. So one of the great benefits of a prepaid card is that it is not directly linked to your, your bank account. So that's kind of cool in terms of flexibility. And this means what? It means the payments you make through MetaPay will not appear on your bank statements. It also means that the funds in your bank account are not at risk if your Meta accounts, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, or Messenger are compromised. And uh, you could you could actually choose to uh, solely link your prepaid uh, prepaid card to MetaPay, and what will happen here is that uh, the uh, the card will uh, will be automatically uh, made your default payment method, so you don't have to add your credit or a debit card if you don't want to, right? And uh, alternatively, you could use your prepaid card for one app and another payment method for your other apps. So that's kind of cool because uh, you, you you can say, listen. Uh, I, I want to use this prepaid card for Instagram, and I want to use this uh, the this other prepaid card for WhatsApp, and uh, the third prepaid card for Messenger. I mean, you can actually diversify uh, your payment method that way. So, in, in conclusion, in today's conversation, I spoke to you about how to set up MetaPay to quickly uh, make payments on Facebook. So, I give you the summary, the steps, the details. And now the conclusion. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.